Prof and today in this video I'm going to show you factors and multiples. Lots of people get these mixed up so I hope that after this video it makes a little bit more sense. So the first example I'm going to use is the number 12 and I'm going to start by writing down the factors of 12. So factors are the numbers that fit exactly into that number. So all the numbers that you times together to give 12. So there are several for this number 12. You could have 1 times 12, so 1 and 12 are both factors. You could have 2 times 6, so 2 and 6 are also factors. Or you could have 3 times 4. So all of these numbers are factors of 12. Not forgetting the negative numbers, because if you times two negative numbers together, you also get a positive. So you could have negative 1 times negative 12, negative 2 times negative 6, and also negative 3 times negative 4. So all of those numbers are factors of 12. So notice how all the factors, they're either the same number or smaller than that number. So when we look at multiples, it's the opposite. They're going to be bigger because multiples are the numbers that are in the 12, in this case, in the 12 times table. So you're multiplying, okay, to find the multiples. So if I write out the numbers in the 12 times table, 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 12 is 36, 4 times 12, 5 times 12, etc. So you can see they keep going, okay, there'll be an infinite number of multiples in the 12 times table. So just remember, for multiples, you have to multiply. Okay, so all the numbers, when you multiply 12, they're the multiples. So factors are going to be smaller, but multiples are going to be bigger. Okay, I've got one more example to finish. Okay, so here we go again. I've got a new number. This time it's the number 18, and I'm going to start by listing the factors. So remember, these are the, the numbers that fit exactly into 18, the numbers that we multiply to find 18. So we've got 1 times 18, which is 18, so these are factors. We've got 2 times 9, which is 18, and 3 times 6. Well, the number 4 doesn't go into 18, neither does the number 5, 6 we've already done. So I know I've included all of the factors there. So really, you've just got to practice your times tables to get good at finding these factors. Don't forget, you've also got the negative ones. We've also got negative 1 times negative 18, negative 2 times negative 9, and negative 3 times negative 6. So if it asks you to list the factors, don't leave it like this. Just leave them written out like this, for example. And I just put dot, dot, dot. Okay, so these are the factors of 18. Now for the multiples. So remember, to find the multiple, multiples, you must multiply. So we're multiplying 18. We're looking for the 18 times table to generate the multiples. So 1 times 18 is just 18. 2 times 18 is 36. 3 times 18 is 54. 4 times 18 is 72, and so on. Okay, I'm not expecting you to know your 18 times table. You might be able to use a calculator or just do your working out somewhere else. Okay, so that's factors and multiples. And like I said earlier, practice those times tables because if you're good at your times tables, you'll find these questions much easier.